So I'm standing on the landing of the Figgy's main stairwell, and this is the staircase up which we brought the mother well. Now you have to keep in mind that this painting is 16 feet by 8 feet, and it weighs close to 900 pounds with its metal backing. So in order to get it upstairs, we had 10 art movers carrying the painting, and they brought it up this way, up the stairs, and then they set it down here on the landing where I am standing right now before they took it on the final look at its journey. And 900 pounds, you know, distributed over 10 guys, it, it's not, it's still not light. So then they continued their journey up to the top of the stairs and um, actually just went ahead and installed it on the wall. So we'll go take a look at it next. Robert Motherwell lived from 1915 to 1991, and he is uh, trained, and he was trained in art, art history, and philosophy. Motherwell heard about the Spanish Civil War, which occurred from 1936 to 1939, and he was really upset at the atrocities that occurred. He did an illustration for a friend who had done a poem, and the illustration is something that inspired then a series, this elegy series. It included, it came to include over 150 monumental canvases. Um, we have number 126. So this is something that Motherwell was working on for over 40 years, this series. All of them, at least most of them, feature a lot of these ovular forms, the, the contrast between black and white, which he is known to have said symbolize this contrast between life and death, but also the, the connection. The black ovular forms that you see in a lot of the the Elegy series, um, they're abstract and they're supposed to kind of elicit some sort of a response from the viewer. It's supposed to be a, almost a funeral song relating back to the, the Spanish Civil War and like I said, the atrocities that occurred. So it's it's a meditation on life and on death, the black and the white, the, the ovular forms versus the, the lines, the vertical lines. And this painting is one of the larger pieces. It was originally commissioned by Ulfert Wilkie, who was our first director of the Museum of Art at the UI. And it was meant to hang across from Jackson Pollock's mural. So these are, these are the two biggest pieces in our exhibition. There are a number of reasons why we didn't hang Motherwell's painting across from Pollock's mural. And there are also a number of reasons why we hung Motherwell's painting right here. So it is the first thing you see, even though the title of the exhibition suggests that you would see Pollock's mural first. The first and main reason for this is so simple, it's actually risk management. <laughs> we had to th take into consideration issues of climate control and um, in what paintings are and what materials are used on the painting. So Pollock's mural actually wasn't cleared because of materials in its uh, fragile state to be in this, this open area because this area, as you probably know, is open to the, the exterior. Another reason is everybody is going to be looking for Pollock's mural and they might not know what else is in the exhibition. This is a nice way to kind of bring you into it, a nice way to bring you into this, this period of modern